I think a man should be a king, a leader, and a provider. Even though I have my own, I need to know that you got us. You know, I watched my father be a provider. I watched my dad take really, really good care of us. He grind and he hustled and he brought the bacon home. And I think that's what a man's job is to do. Of course, nobody wants to be hurt when it comes to love. You don't want to be hurt. Because when you love somebody, you open up. Like, that's it. That's it. Like, it's all, you know what I mean? We all in. Don't hurt me. Don't do nothing to me wrong. <laughs> because your heart is just wide open at that point. And nobody wants to be hurt. Love is this, this risk that we take with another person. And so, so many things can transpire when you're in this relationship and love is on the table. You can see the best of yourself. You can see you at the worst. And, and it's a beautiful thing because this mirror is held up to you, right? Like, here's who you are when you don't get your way. Here's who you are when, when you're uncomfortable, when you're sad. It may not look the way you wanted it to. You may not behave the way you thought you would, right? And so here you have this opportunity to see yourself in the mirror and go, can I change? Can I do better? This is practice. Can I get better moving forward? I think it sounds corny and cliche, but you really gotta love yourself first. It sounds corny, but it's not. It's, it's Bible facts. Like, it's real stuff. As women, we've been taught that we need to be saved. And we've been taught that we need a man and we need to be in a relationship. And I don't really think that's true. And I, and I, I don't agree with it. I think we need to spend time by ourselves to know who we are so we know what we want. So I believe that we all go through seasons and process. Like you have to go through the process to get to, to, to where you're supposed to be. It's almost like wine. I went wine tasting and I was so intrigued on how they make wine and how, to, how it has to go through so many, so many process, like to get to the bottle, it goes through so much. The, the grapes have to grow a certain way, they have to keep up with that, they go through different colors, then they have to go through the pressing, then they have to sit for this amount of time, they go from that machine to this machine, and they sit for months and months and months, and they go, and that's how life is, we have to go through the process. So I believe that once you figure out who you are and what you want, then you'll start being able to see all of the necessaries to get to the purpose. In the black community, we don't like to talk about it, but therapy, it helps. Oh yes, I sat on somebody's couch and cried for an hour for six weeks straight. It was trying to figure out what's wrong with me, why I can't have a successful relationship. And I went through therapy and all of that to get to where I am now. I um, did a year um, with, with being celibate and just focusing my energy just on work. Like, I just put on a paper, like, I want more interviews, I want this, I want that, I want that. And honestly, it's like, it's flowing and it's coming, so it honestly really works. My mom's really religious, and she's like, when you have sex with someone, like you're exchanging energies, and you don't know what type of energy someone has. I believe you gotta be really careful with who you link up with and who you're giving that to, because you wanna make sure you're receiving it as well. I don't think love is a one-way street. 50-50 love. <laughs> greatest inspiration is love, whether it's positive or negative. My self-esteem started at zero, and I had to build that. I had to build it, and it was a long journey. When you have low self-esteem as a young girl, you do things that you shouldn't be doing. You know what I'm saying? And you're giving your body to men that, that shouldn't be having it. My ex, I mean, like, he was abusive, and then he broke my heart. We were engaged, and then he got someone pregnant. I didn't find out until she was four months along. And then when I found out, I'm like, you know what? I can't live for other people anymore. And that actually made me go into comedy. I, I had a corporate job, quit my corporate job to do comedy full time. I've been doing that for four years now. So that, that my last relationship shaped, it helped me realize when I, what I wanted to do in life, what my calling was. The image that we have in our mind of who we are may be different from how we we're perceived in this world. So I don't think it's necessarily we run from commitment as much as we run from being vulnerable in front of someone. Vulnerability is not a weakness. Vulnerability is about the ability to be seen. It can be a really scary place, but I think it could be safe with the right person. I had to heal. A lot of people wait on people to come to heal them, but it's up to you to sit back and heal. You got to figure out some things that you're doing wrong. And I had to understand that my husband was not all the people who hurt me. My husband is not all the, the fam, you know, all that stuff that I've been through with family and da 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 da. So I can't, I have to let that go and not give that to him. It doesn't belong to him. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my homie. That's my best friend. That's my king.